Okay. Lights, camera, action. <laughs> Do I start with hi or? Just start talking, darling. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> for those who are new to our channel, we are James and Christina. And this channel is about the journey that started nine years ago, nearly nine years ago when we moved to Portugal. And so far we've shown you um, part of our journey, which has been some renovations and uh, a lot going on around here, the Quinta, all the other things that we do. So I hope you enjoying the journey with us and keep watching because there's a lot more coming. Yeah. And <laughs> moving on from that. Uh, moving on what? Moving on from that. What? What? Yeah. That, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, what are we doing? Oh, um, yeah. Back to the video. I left you on the cliffhanger last week. Let's continue to see how that's going. Obviously, I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get on with it. Let's get on. Right. <sighs> Break the glass. Oh, one idiot. Oh, oh well. Try again. Oh, oh damn. Mm. Lessons learnt. Lessons learnt. Yeah, we had this glass to go in the window. Ah, uh, but I just broke it. Fortunately, I didn't cut myself. Okay, regroup. Think this through. Start again. Three to go. Right, I forgot to push record. We've um, drilled some holes through the joists and put the conduit in for the lighting up there. We're having five spotlights in the ceiling, so um, the conduit's in place. Now we can put the boards up, uh, the uh, plasterboards up, to uh, close off this roof. And then what I'll do is, once that's up, I'll climb up there and put the insulation from the top um, down and then fix these boards in the ceiling up or fix them down. Does that make sense? Linda broke the last one. She doesn't love me anymore for doing that. 
Hey. And you broke the glass today as well. And I broke the glass, yeah. Yes. Anyway. Last one. Cup of tea. And a biscuit. Cup of tea and a biscuit. That was hard work. Whew. Okay, so this is a good time to show you uh, this product that has been sent to us, Novet. Uh, there's a doorbell with two receivers which come just at the right time, one for the house and one for the new office. Uh, it covers about uh, a thousand, a thousand feet range and it's got over 50 chimes. So let's see. So it's quite neat. It goes just plugs in an electric socket and then the bell it comes with the little screw just easy to to put on a wall so James is going to put this up and uh, we'll show you how well it works right I've installed the doorbell outside and now it's very simple to do this you just uh, plug it in Push this button for three seconds and hopefully, there we go, all paired. So you can change the, Ooh. anyway, 52 different sounds, volume, mute it. Do all sorts of stuff. So we're going to have one in the house, one in the office. So now um, when people are looking for us, we'll be able to hear them, which is good. Link in the description. Uh, there's a 15% discount. And uh, if you like that, go over there. Pretty good. While James is at the renovation house, I saw I'd keep myself busy here. And I'm looking at this plant and it's gone crazy so i need to trim it back and looking at it i saw i'd do an experiment uh, i've seen it done so many times uh, so before i cut it i've got this branch here which is nice and straight so i'm going to <laughs> do something that i've wanted to do for a long time I'm going to try and splice it and make it grow as a tree. If it doesn't work, it'd have to be cut anyway, but um, not a better time to do it than now when I need to trim this back. So let's see how we get on. So first things first, I've got a plastic cup, which I need to cut to go around the, the branch okay so the idea is fill it up with soil and then put it around the branch where I've cut now where shall I do it the idea let's get this one up here the idea is to cut around the top layer.
if this work I'd be so so happy because I've seen this done so many times and I always said I need to do that because I find it fascinating so there we go this is sorted I'll put some tape on it is all sealed and if it takes then I can trim it because ideally I just want that top bit so this I'll get rid of these branches here but first of all I'm just gonna wait and see what happens here the worst thing that can happen is that branch will die <laughs> But I hope not. I hope we get some roots there in a few weeks' time. Lots of rubble. Okay, so, so far, the level is being dropped. Um, trying to get it as flat as possible. Uh, so when we pour the first layer of concrete for the uh, uh, insulation on the underfloor heating. Good, did that make sense? Yeah, pouring the subfloor, and we're gonna put underfloor heating in it, but we need to drop it 200 mil. So we're just getting it all dropped down to that level, nice and level, so that when we pour the concrete, it makes life a lot easier. Today, this wall's coming down. Gonna get some acros up there, support this ceiling, and then, take that wall out that will go into the kitchen um yeah slow progress but it all takes time but we're getting there yeah it's hard labor and uh, as you can see mounds of soil and rocks and stones and stuff are coming out so yeah taking a little bit of time but it's expected and then once that's all done, once we've got the complete level, tidy up, put a polythene membrane down, pour some concrete, insulation, underfloor heating, pour some more concrete, and that'd be us done with the, with the subfloor. And then we can move on to everything else that we've got to do. Yeah, getting there.
That is now pretty much where it is gonna be. Um, we need to get order an RSJ still to go up there um, to support that ceiling. And we're gonna have to dig out this floor, unfortunately. We were hoping that it was near enough the level we've dug down to. Um, but it's not, so it's gotta come up, but we've done a little tester there. And I think that will break up relatively simply. And then once we've got the RSJ up there, we can take these acros away and we can take out the bottom here and uh, get it all up nice and level. But that's come up really good. That's a nice size. The kitchen's going to be a lovely size. It um, feels bigger in here, in this area. Definitely feels bigger since, obviously it's bigger because it's open, but when we, when we came in here when it was... Uh, just the room, it always felt quite small, but now standing in here with that open, it feels a great space. And of course, we'll have the view going out those doors there. And there's the possibility we'll stick a window there, obviously change that door. Um, yeah, I think that's a good advancement. So, I'm going back to the house to continue with the office build. Uh, and the guys are going to continue just getting this level here. Right, continuing with the, today's process. Um, we're going to concentrate on closing up this side and getting this ceiling done at this end at least so we can build this wall here. Um, Linda's just measuring something. That is uh, back breaking. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. So the final, final bit. Get that up there, and that'll be the ceiling. We need to sort that tape up there. Um, that, can we push that back in now? Yeah. Once you get up there, feed that back in there. Uh, just finish our cup of tea. Right, 
I think there's going to be some serious editing going on here. Because <laughs> we're looking like clowns right now. But well, we are amateurs. Down there, tape. Just relax, baby. Oh, I've run out of screws. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna me? have to go to the hardware shop. Relax, Amondo. We've got all. Now that we've got the plaster board in place, we can finish the metal there and start assembling this wall. And that will stabilise that.
It's getting a bit dark in here, so I think we're going to call it a day. Uh, we've still got to uh, put a window in here, so we're probably going to go in this Space. between these two. These are roughly in place. We've got to cut these and make a frame for the window and get a new piece of glass. Um, but yeah, I think that's all we can do for now. Well, good achievement today. Yeah. As I was saying, good achievement today. Yeah. You did well. You said you did. Yeah. The so hardest part is done. So. Hardest part was the ceiling. That was a nightmare. So, uh, but we're done. It's it's the hard work is done. Yeah. Um, so in the next video, we'll make this wall, do the window, do the electrics, do everything, really. Door. Door. Um, we'd like to have finished it. <laughs> For next video, it should be finished. Yeah, it will. Floor. Ho hopefully. We decided to cover this floor. Yeah, we've got a new floor to go down. Everything's uh, in place, uh, but the hard work's done. But uh, what with everything else we're doing, yeah, it's not enough hours in a day. <laughs> so... Uh, Yes, but uh, yeah, it's a good achievement and it's much bigger than I initially thought. When we measured it on the floor, yeah, didn't think that was going to be this big, is it? It's no. bigger than our bedroom. <laughs> it is, isn't it? It is bigger than our bedroom. Yeah. Oh, might have to move the bed here. Might have to move it here, yeah. Put a bit of TV on, the, on that wall. Yeah. <laughs> right, catch you next week. <coughs> Bye.